It's another day for the Steam Deck, and another day means another day that the EA app breaks. Basically, ruining a lot of your EA games on your Steam library on the Steam Deck. But good news, the new Proton 8.02 update is out and it has fixed it for the millionth time. And we're gonna get into it and cover the changes in, in this new update and see what's patched and what's been updated and all that good stuff. Anyways, I'm Blaze 2K, please drop a like, hit the subscribe, click the bell icon if you want more Steam Deck content, handheld gaming content on your YouTube homepage every single day. We're gonna be covering the ROG Ally a lot more too going forward, so please join me for the ride. Um, and yeah, let's get to it. So guys, before we get into it, check out our Amazon list of favorite Steam Deck accessories. Now, I actually curate this list. I add stuff to it all the time. So bookmark it, click the follow button, hit the heart button, share it with friends, um, come back to it every now and again, see what's new, um, because this list contains just about everything you would possibly want for your Steam Deck. It's a great resource, great for gift ideas, all that good stuff. I'll put the link in the top comment of this video and the video description. Go check it out. Um, and yeah, it helps me out, helps you out, hopefully. Let me know if there's anything you want me to add to this list. I'll add it. Let me know in the uh, video in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, let's see what's new with the Proton. So Proton 8.0-2, out for Linux and Steam Deck, fixing the EA app. Yes, again. Valve has upgraded to the newer Proton 8 that only launched for Linux and Steam Deck recently with a bunch of bug fixes, and this is all pretty standard stuff at point for a point release for the newest version of Proton for running Windows games. If you're confused about Steam playing Proton, see my beginner's guide. Seems on top of the new, uh, on top of a few games needing fixes that the EA app has won the EA app, Electronic Arts app, has once again broken, been broken, um, requiring Valve to jump in to prevent a whole bunch of games suddenly not working. Now this is the issue with Proton, man. You know, EA just puts out a little update to their app and then it breaks like their entire library on the Steam on the Steam Store. It kind of sucks. If you're on Linux, that is on the Steam Deck. Um, here's what's changed. Um, and a bunch which is pulled over from the recent Proton Experimental update as well. So they fixed Baldur's Gate 3, getting stuck in a black screen in Vulcan mode. Fixed Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition um, and a Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. Crashing and launch. That's a pretty big deal. A pretty big bug. Glad they fixed it. Path of Exile crashing. Um, fixed a memory leak in Trackmania and Ubisoft Connect overlay. I want to play that on the Steam Deck. I didn't. Is that out? I didn't even really it was out. Um, I used to love Track Mini back in the day. Improved Elden Ring compatibility compared to Proton 8.0-1. It can still be finicky. They fixed Red Dead Redemption 2 and other games not starting after switching from po Proton Experimental to Stable. Hmm. I've been. That's, that's a game I need to get back into. I, I, I got really deep into Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 just recently and um. I forgot about it. I moved on to other games. Added a temporary workaround for EA launcher crashing. Steam Deck's on-screen keyboard may not pop up while using it. Oh. Um. Interesting. Okay. So if you want to update, if you want to update it, it'll show up as an update to put on it in your Steam downloads. Just update it as you would any other app or game on Steam. Um, and obviously, to use put on it in the properties, use it. Go into the properties of the game, compatibility menu of any game, and tick the box or change, you know, change your version of Proton to Proton 8. Or Proton Experimental, you know, since there's going to be newer updates than that. So there you go, Proton 8.0-2, it's now out, fixes a bunch of things. Some big flaws in certain games, including EA's games. I really wish, you know, now that EA's got their games on Steam, and some of them are actually Steam Deck verified, you would think... You would think that EA and Valve would work together to make sure the, you know, little updates like this to the launcher don't break anything, you know, randomly. Because they're not only disappointing Valve, letting down Valve, they're letting down their customers who buy their games and pay, send them money, you know, via Steam. So, really hope they work on that because I'm tired of this thing breaking constantly. Um, they really need to have some sort of line of communication with Valve to make sure this doesn't happen. Um, or, or even better yet, just remove the launcher completely from your, your Steam games, right? I mean, why does the launcher need to launch before the game um, on Steam on, on Steam where they're already, you know, they've already sold some on their game? Like, it just makes no sense. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Like I said, I'm Blaze2K. We cover handheld gaming news on this channel every day, uh, multiple times a day. Um, and there's a lot of exciting, lot of exciting things coming down the pipe, the pike or pipe, pike, um, including ROG Ally. You know, there's the I and Neo 2S. 
Um, there's a bunch of other consoles coming out. The AOK Zoe, which I'm going to be doing a video on later today or tomorrow, um, talking about that bad boy because you can now order it on Indiegogo, which is awesome, and it looks it looks really sick. So I can't wait to talk about it and show you more about it. So stay tuned. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, click the bell icon, and as always, check out our little list of Steam Deck accessories here on Amazon. Link in the com uh, video description and top comment down below. Go check it out and bookmark it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'm Blaze the K. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Have you liked yet? Click the like button. <laughs> Bye, guys.